rubble. That is all that's left of the India Curry House. Dozens of firefighters worked hours to keep that fire from spreading to neighboring buildings. We have Lyme team coverage from the scene near 4th and King Streets. Our Mike Thompson kicks off our coverage with the latest on the fire investigation. Amy, a much different sight out here tonight than what people were watching unfold early this morning. All that is left here is some rubble and a big gaping hole along the city block on 4th Street. Most of the firefighters are long gone and crews are now working to clear the debris after starting to demolish the building earlier this afternoon. While the loss of this building is obviously devastating to the city and downtown, the good news is there are no injuries to report. Now, a lot of you who have been around the area for a long time knew this building that was standing here as the Poonin Chinese restaurant. It just changed hands recently and opened February 1st as the India Curry House. Now, firefighters got the call here at about 4.15 this morning. When they got here, light smoke was coming from the building. Once they got inside, they found the fire spreading quickly in the basement kitchen and into the walls and floor. The intense heat forced firefighters out of the building and then at one point the roof collapsed and it didn't take long for it to turn into a raging inferno. 35 firefighters were involved in this fire and at one point every available fire department unit here in La Crosse. The building is more than 120 years old so that presented some challenges for firefighters as well. Unfortunately, uh, they don't offer a training program for buildings that were built in 1880 and all the add-ons and additions, and all the firewalls that were in place, and when the building was built, we can't account for how they've been altered over the years, and that's what we're dealing with now, is that we have a lot of unpredictable spaces that people have altered over time. And take a look at this video from viewer Lisa Felt. She captured the moment the upper facade of the building came crashing down to the sidewalk and the street below. Firefighters worked really hard to keep the fire from spreading to the adjacent buildings. That includes Glory Days, the famous Packers Bar, and River City Gold and Silver Exchange. Firefighters say the fire did not reach either of those buildings. However, we are seeing condemned signs on both of those buildings tonight, as well as the Designing Jewelers building. So we are unsure exactly what kind of damage they sustained. Now, everyone who lived in the upper floor apartments did make it out safely. And again, no injuries to report here tonight. Four cats were also rescued from the building, and one was resuscitated successfully by firefighters here. The cause of this fire is still unknown and being investigated. Now, there are several residents who were displaced, obviously, who lived in those upper floor apartments. News 8 Now's Sorry. Emily Haugen joins Mike, us now live from downtown as well, and she spoke to one of those people who woke up to smoke and first responders evacuating the building. Emily. And here's what he and a neighboring business owner had to say. Oh. Mike, there are three apartments above India Curry House, and I spoke with one of the tenants this morning. He and his roommates lost everything in the fire, and I spoke with him and a neighboring business owner, and here's what they had to say. I hear the noise of the fire vehicles and everything, and at the same time, I saw the smoke was coming out of it from ground floor. It wasn't until Sunil Knight got outside that he realized how bad it was. I came and I lost everything. I, I really feel bad. Nike and his roommates got out safely, but they lost everything. I came downstairs, whatever we was wearing. So some of my friends also, they are like wearing a shorts. And when we came down, we don't have anything except my car. Out to the street with only a car to his name. I don't know what to say, but that's the truth. I don't know. I'm completely blank. Feeling helpless as he and others watched his home and the Indian curry house come crashing down. Neighboring business owners. This is kind of a shocker this morning. Are feeling the same. Hopefully everything's salvageable for the most part. Glory Days owner Blake Show is holding out for good news. You know, just a setback, so hopefully we can get through this and continue to support lacrosse and have lacrosse support us. Firefighters had to evacuate every apartment on the block. Everyone and their pets made it out safely. However, we did learn earlier tonight that Glory Days has been condemned. Live in La Crosse, Emily Haugen for News 8 Now. Mike.
Yeah, to get a devastating loss for these people, but thankfully no one injured or died in this fire. Thanks a lot, Emily. Now in events like these, the Red Cross is called on to help. And News 8 Now's Dua Israr spoke with Red Cross officials today to find out how they are helping these residents who are displaced. Mike, early this morning, the fire department called the Red Cross to help find housing for the people who were displaced um, earlier today, there were five people in the apartments above, and now the Red Cross is working with helping them get short-term housing, such as a hotel, replacement clothing, meals, and even providing them with mental health needs. Now, the Red Cross doesn't have boots on the ground here at the scene, but the agency was ready to quickly get to work and help. Making sure that we have identified everyone who is displaced and affected and, and make sure they have their emergency needs taken care of. Um, and then really working on kind of the recovery phase as we get later in this week. The Red Cross wasn't the only community partner to help out. The La Crosse MTU provided a bus for the people who were evacuated and a mechanic volunteered to come down to the bus station right across the street and let the people who were evacuated sit in a bus and stay warm. Now the Red Cross says that there were two additional people in the buildings adjacent to uh, India Curry House that were also displaced and they're in need of some assistance, but the agency is still trying to work out what that may be. Needed. And you wouldn't expect anything less when a tragedy happens no, like this, absolutely. that people come together and our community steps up to help. All right, yeah. thanks a lot, Dua. Now, 4th Street, as you can see behind me, is still closed as crews are working to tear down this building, and we don't have any official word on when it will reopen. 4th Street is blocked from Cass Street all the way down to J Street at this time. There is a marked detour to help drivers get around the area. The route is listed on your screen, and the City Street Department says the detour will be in place until further notice. And again, a big loss here in downtown. Downtown Lacrosse and for the city. The investigation is continuing into what caused this fire tonight. For now, we're live in downtown Lacrosse. Mike Thompson, News 8 Now. Amy, right. back to you. Thank you, Mike. And we do have pictures and videos and live reports from earlier today. You can find that all online at news8000.com as well as on our social media pages. And later in the show, News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad is going to take a look back at that building's long history.